go sideways, go backwards, go inside out and upside down. Innovation is a matter of looking at things from many different directions, not just the straight ahead drive to the goal line. The thing that's most frustrating to us is that we find very rational, intelligent people in world-class organizations who are over and over again leaving millions of dollars on the table because they're operating out of the wrong assumptions and they're asking the wrong questions. So all things being equal, more stuff means more impact, but more stuff also means more money. So we need to reinvent business models here, and we have the clues of this. Amory Lovins is fond of saying that nobody wants to buy electricity and natural gas. People want cold beer and hot showers. Figure out how to deliver the benefit without the stuff, and you have a new business proposition if you can find the business model that will let you monetize that. You ask most people what's the purpose of business and they'll say the purpose of business is to maximize profit, right? Everybody knows that. The purpose of business is to maximize return to shareholders, right? Everybody knows that, except that it's not true. And don't take my word for it. Peter Drucker, who is the premier management consultant of the 20th century, said this. A.P. Giannini, who founded the Bank of America in this city 125 years ago, said this. He said the purpose of the bank is not to maximize return to shareholders. The purpose of the bank is to provide credit to immigrant communities in San Francisco who can't get it. And if we do that well, he said, we will make plenty of money. So it wasn't that, it wasn't that profit wasn't important, but profit wasn't the focus and profit wasn't the driver. Profit was the side effect. Profit was the consequence. Profit was the way of keeping score. The purpose of the bank was what the bank is there to do. Wall Street's looking for three things from us. They're looking for us to make more money. It's clear, everybody understands that. They're looking for us to make more money faster, because the net present value of a dollar today is worth more than a dollar two years or ten years from now. And they're looking for us to remove any risks that stand between us and making more money faster. So that's what Wall Street wants from us, and that's the framework for DuPont's sustainability initiatives. And by each one of those measures, everything we're doing is contributing to positive share value, to reduce risk, to accelerate the profits, accelerated innovation. Um, and so from his perspective, Wall Street got it just fine. It was a real eye-opener for me. You know, so the question I have for you is, will you escape into resignation of, oh, I can only do so much, or will you, will you really raise the challenge in every conversation here for the next three days? Uh, to what I think is the, is the goal behind everything that we're talking about, uh, learned from my mentor Buckminster Fuller 40 years ago when I started this work, is how do we create a world that works for 100% of humanity in the shortest possible time through spontaneous cooperation without ecological offense or the disadvantage of anyone? It's a big goal. It's a worthy goal.